Bridgeport. She's Bridgeport in there. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's a cold and frosty morning in Scotland. That's minus four. Today got some spare time, so I thought I'll take the Arc 7 to the dyno. Minus four, and uh, definitely not sure that she'll start up, but we'll have to give her a blast. But we jump back in there just in case the battery I've got just now it's pretty shitty. It's uh, it's I think it's actually from a, a golf buggy or something like that. So let's try. Oh, good. started so that's good gonna let her warm up Bridgeport she's Bridgeport in the There we go. All cleared for lunch. <laughs> oh, ready to go and blow it up. <laughs> Hope no, but it might happen. So I bought a compressor because I've got a flat tire. The fucking thing doesn't even reach. <laughs> so made it this far. Look at the state of it. Fucking hell. Mucky roads this time of year. I tell you, things probably covered in salt. There might not be a car left over. It's maybe be fucking rotted away by the time we're fucking done on <laughs> the rollers. Oh, let's get our jacked up. So, just at the dyno now, got it strapped down. Um, getting it sort of ready. I'll do a couple of pulls with the exhaust on it just because uh, I need to dial in some VTC timing and I changed my rig. So that'll be off. But, put some. It's fancy E85 in it, instead of just my 100% eBay stuff. Um, just to see how it works, I've got a couple of tins of this now, so. And that's the Fiano Resistance. So I've just gone over some bits and bobs. I've never tuned this fuel before, but it seems to need a lot. do quite a few pulls because I'm having issues just with the fuel and it seems to be off quite a lot it's going into like a lean cut um, when I'm getting into it which is kind of annoying me but I'm getting there now I've got one pull in um, I think it was at 17 psi 517 wheels so that's a lot so yeah um, like I say 517 which is um, but it did knock the tyres off, so I'm having to do a boost ramp in to make it a little bit more gradual. Um, and you can see that was at uh, 217 kPa, which is one point, say 1.2 bar of boost. So yeah, the lean cut was coming in here. So um, just when it got into boost. So I'm going to have to play with that. Let's get some of the blast. Thank 
cut again. No, it was a different cut. I'll see you. Uh, see, this is the cut here. Yeah. So just, just nicked on that there. Yeah. So my fuel pressure cuts if it sees that it's yeah. going below target. It'll
on, no! <laughs> Right, so um, I'm just going to stop there. To be honest, I was I was just trying to see if I could get some sort of, you know, higher boost pools, but unfortunately, one, the pump can't keep up with uh, ethanol. So I need another fuel pump. And uh, when I put the pump fuel in, I started having issues with wastegate. So even pulling 94% uh, of duty, it was only uh, making 1.6 bar. So um, yeah. But we got some uh, good results anyway. So, highest one on track was 632 wheel, uh, or 215, and these ones here, the later on ones, this was the low boost, 1.2 bar. I think this was 1.6, 1.7 bar. So, um, never even got to two bar, but it made way more power than I was expecting. So, yeah, so we're around about 700 horse. Uh, the crank, which is, uh, is good. The car would do a lot more if it could run properly, and it has done. So I think the pump's getting weaker. Yeah, on the actual street road, I run 1.9 bar. So um, I'm on the track 1.9 bar. So I'm not really sure, you know, why I, uh, why I got these failure points just now. Well, I do know, obviously, trying out a new fuel. Um, so I obviously just underestimated how much extra fuel the pump was going to have to demand um, and obviously the base gate just it's, it's gone hot so um, yeah but the car is still alive so this is obviously a pro I've got a few things to work on um, I'm going to go for a bigger fuel setup in the back as in pumps and that and uh, yeah make sure she can take E85 and we'll come back and we'll turn the boost up and we'll see what she can make so uh, on the way home now, uh, back up to the house, car's still alive, thankfully, but uh, to be honest, <laughs> the car made way more power than I thought it was going to make in that boost, eh? so I'm very happy with that. I thought it was going to have to be way over 2 bar to make 700 horsepower, but it made 700 horsepower at 1.7, um, so I'm very, very happy with that. But. I'm a bit disappointed at the same time because I had in my mind I was going to boost it to 2.5 bar the day so um, so I didn't get there obviously because the fuel pump started weakening on me. I've actually noticed when I had the car running that the relief valve on the pump was relieving its fuel pressure so I don't know why it shouldn't have been, it only should do that as a safety thing so um, I'll change up the fuel setup anyway. As for wastegate, I'll pull it apart and try and figure out why. Like it was 95% duty and it was only making like 1.6 bar at the end. So um, that's why some of my pulls at the end were less. Um, but yeah, it makes a lot more power on ethanol than it does in pump fuel. So around about 55 wheel horsepower, probably like 70 brake horsepower in the same boost for ethanol. So. But to be honest, it wasn't really about massive power pulls. It was just trying to play with tuning and, you know, try and see where my angles were for my VTC. I've done that. And, uh, yeah, just to do things in a controlled environment, so. It's kind of funny because I've had the car up at 1.9 bar boost on the street, which is around probably 750, 800 horse. Um, so it's nice to know where I'm at. Plus, I'm on a full exhaust system just now as well. I never even took the exhaust off. There was no point because the boost started acting up and I didn't have the fuel to compensate for it, so. As for fuel pumps, don't know what I'm gonna run yet. The Bosch 044s are just noisy fucking things, so I might have to use some sort of swirl pot um, as well, because I did notice some fuel surge and starvation up at the top end. Um, when I'm watching the car, even though the fuel pump's at the back, but you know, these are all be things that can sort out no problem. Um, and then have a look at the gate to see why it's been uh, behind a wee, being a wee bitch. But so, yeah, that explains why the car's so fucking fast. <laughs> so, 1.2 bar of boost made 517 wheel horsepower, which is near 600 horsepower. Um, and that was in one of the first pulls. So, uh, what a car. Tuning out on the road is definitely my thing. Tuning the dyno is fine, handy, it's no problem. You're in a safe environment, 
uh, but the loading is slightly different. We all know that you know numbers themselves in the dyno say something, but terminal speeds are actually you know terminal speed in drag racing and your 100 to 200 time on your draggy and stuff like that shows you how quick a car is. So cars are very fast. As for power, I'm a power hungry. I'm a want more power. Nope, that's that's it done. I don't need any more power. I'll maybe do a couple of power runs later on, maybe at the start of the year or something like that, around uh, once I sort out the fuel system to make sure it's going to be okay. And we'll take over two bar and we'll see what she makes. But uh, yeah, fucking hell, things are rocket ship. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me just now. Uh, I'm very happy with the progress. I'm very happy that the car survived again. I'm very happy. The limiting factors are just little things I can buy and replace. So, uh, yeah. As per always, guys, thanks for coming along. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you in the next bit. <laughs>